What's up guys? It's been a minute since I've made a video. I've been real busy. Uh, so today we have some coins in here. There might be some bullion. Uh, these are some coins that I ordered a little over a week ago um, through Instagram, through one of the sellers. His name is Midwest Coins. He always has awesome auctions. Uh, he does Friday auctions I think at noon uh, on his story and then he does uh, Monday auctions at 8.30 and it's real, it's so much fun just to watch even if you're you don't want to buy anything. It's fun to see what you know how people are talking and what they have for sale. Great prices always. So I'm gonna open this up. I really want to flip it around and kind of reveal the tracking. So I'm gonna stab this thing. I've got a sealed pup right here, a SOG. It's one of my military knives I use. Um, in case you don't know, I'm in the military. So got that. Bad Larry right there. Try to open this up. Just wait one second. I got the coin red book right there just so we could use it for a reference oh that's right I did get some of these <laughs> so before I pull anything out I'll show you guys what I bought it's just the paper stating what I got but we'll just pull it out and these were too good of a deal to pass up if I had more money I would have well more spending money I should say these are like the proof sets 2007 I think it starts with Washington so I bought two of them, you know. It's cool. They're cool to have. <laughs> I paid a great price for them. Couldn't beat it. I should have bought more. So the United States Mint Presidential $1 coin proof set. Oops. Pretty cool right here. So, you know, they come in nice cases. I mean, I don't know if the Mint's done anything nice like this for a while now. And, you know, I don't know how much people pay for these in 2007, but <laughs> what I paid for them. You know, when I got them, it was a pretty great deal. Oh yeah, that's right, we got some graded coins in here. So this will be, this will be cool for you guys. Um, and I only really pulled out the red book, just so you guys can see uh, maybe like the mintage. You know, because you can't really go off the prices for red book. I don't want to get that sticky stuff on the, on the slabs. So, oh, this looks like a PCGS case. It is. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I got some Mercury Dimes. So 1944D, Mint State 66FB, I think it's full bands, I think that's what it stands for. Nice little PCGS case right there. So that's a cool one. I think this is another Mercury Dime if I'm not mistaken. Yep, I'll have to get some rubbing alcohol and I'll clean these uh, little like plasticky things from people's stickers. But this is a 44S, 65B. It's got a little bit of toning on it, if you can see that. I got a new phone, by the way, because my old phone died on me, so this is phone right here is the Galaxy S22 Ultra, and it's about the nicest phone I think Galaxy makes, the guy was telling me, and, he, and the guy who sold it to me at the, you know, at the Verizon store was saying how, I mean, he's a big Apple fan, he's like, no, nah. he's like, this is the best camera, it's better than, it's better than an iPhone, I mean, it's a great quality camera, so I'm like, you know what, I'll, pay, I'll instead of getting the S22, you know, I'm making videos, taking a lot of pictures, I'll go with the uh, I'll go with the uh, the 22 Ultra. Get the nice camera. Comes with a pen too. So here we have a 1923. Um, is that a 23s? Yes? No. It just says 1923. It says an S right there. Oh well, maybe that's silver. This is a 1923. It's not a. The mint mark would be right there at the tail. But anyways, I'm guessing that's silver. It's kind of. It looks like an old. NGC case. It's kind of cool. Never had a case like this yet. Um, maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't know. What don't you think? But uh, oh, wow! No way did he give me the toned one. Oh, that is great. He must know that I love toning. Oh my gosh. So in the in the auction, he had like, he had like, I don't know, 30 of these, maybe 50 of these graded uh, coins, right? Same thing with, he had maybe like six of these, a whole bunch of, he had like eight of these, you know, they're all just sitting there, and it was like, bin, so buy it now at random, right, and I got this puppy right here, I love toned coins, so this is awesome, so I didn't know what these coins were going to look like, because some of these I was getting at random, you know, for these two, I chose which ones I wanted to get, but this one, this is one of the, this is one of the choosing at random, I don't even know what the date is, does it even matter, 1958, cool, Mint State 66, look at the toning on that thing, that is crazy, I love this. Oh, I'm just, I'm so happy with that. This is a keeper for sure. That is wonderful. Wonderful. Wow. Now I wish I would have got another. 
Let's see what else we got in here. I'm gonna open this thing up. I try to save these packages in case I I resell. I just kind of cut these up sometimes, and I use it for extra padding. Just you know, why not? Not to be like saving on the plastic, but it saves me from having to buy it. And it's just like it's a little extra extra padding in case I, I do sell a coin online somewhere. So these don't look like graded coins, so I'm going to just scoot this off a little bit. There's still a couple more points in there, it feels like. And I'm just going to dump these out so you guys can see. Oh, it's all it's so hot in North Carolina. So it's so uh, so hot, so sticky. So all this plastic residues from the... From from this uh, container just like sticking to me. Alright, so that's all we got right there. So I got some really cool ones here actually. This was, some of these were from a Friday uh, uh, bin. This was from actually one of the regular sales. So these aren't Morgan dollars. These are like a commemorative, uh, what do you call it, like round. So it's not a coin. So right here you can see one troy ounce. 31.1 grams, that's how much a troy ounce weighs. And silver trade unit, so 999 fine silver. You see the sides, a little bit thick. Kind of a cool, cool round to get, so I want to have a couple of those. Oh, that's right, I, I did get a little bit of gold. Well, I guess since we started with the silver, we'll go to the gold. And this is what one, a one gram gold bar looks like, all right? That's the Valcambi. And I'll, I guess I'll hold it next to the dime so you can see the size. This is what one gram of gold looks like. It's crazy, you know. And uh, the day today, well, I always start with the day, but my watch is kind of getting low on battery. So it's um, June 13th, 2022. And so you can look up the prices if you want, but, you know, a couple days ago or last week, silver was around $21, $22. Gold was, I think, around 1800 or like 1850 maybe, so... Uh, this is kind of a cool bar. It says VA right there, and then sure in finer detail it says f one gram fine gold. This is actually really cool. I like this. Because the other one that I have is slab, so it's not like I want to take it out. Not slab, but you know it's in a nice plastic case. So start off those. I'll put this with the gold. That's kind of cool. And then uh, here we have a uh, 1883 uh, no cents. So. No cents would be down, the, well, it would say cents down here. So this is a no cents. This is the first year of the Liberty Nickel. And when they first came out, uh, the design looked like this. Oops, sorry. The design looked like this when it first came out. Well, the, the front of it, you know, looks the same the whole time. But um, when it first came out, it has no cents. It looked just like this. And then I think people were, like, layering it in gold or something like that. So uh, they added the word cents to the bottom of it so they couldn't fool people because this, so this is just a nickel, right? It's made of copper, so it's not even silver. But um, this is a nice one. It's, a, it's in better condition. I, so I like that. We'll save this one for last. We'll, so we got three half dollars right here. These are the Barber Half Series. The thing about the Barber Series is it seems like a lot of these coins, uh, wherever you go, they're in a lot lower to, of condition. So to kind of get one in nicer condition is... Pretty uh, pretty cool, and uh, I think these are better dates. So it's kind of what I got the book for right here. Perfect, just jump right to the half dollars. Almost jump to the right page. So there's Seed of Liberty. So here's the Barber half dollars. So let's see, let's see what kind of dates we got. So we got let's see, 1898 being the earliest one on here. So 1898. So you can see the mintages so far. We're at almost a million, about a million and a half for this page. And we'll go over here. So 1898. Oh, that's a, that's actually not a, not really a key date. So they made a lot of these. Oh, wait. Yeah, 1898. So uh, they made almost three million of those. I don't know if he put a condition on here, but let's see. I didn't pay the prices that you see on here. He probably got that from someone and bargained with them. But um, I don't know what the grade would be. Probably around, maybe around 512. Maybe very fine. Not too sure. Anyways, you can see how many they made. So we got 1907. Is that a D or an O? It's a D. So the mint marks right down here. So 1907 D. Right here. So they made almost four million of these. So these are more common dates, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, so let's see. It's at least. It's got to be around fine twelve. 
So, see right there, it's a nice coin. And then 1914S. Is this the last year? Or is 16? Yeah, I think 16. Well, that's 16 was the first year of the Walk in Liberty, so 15 would be the last year of this. So 1914S. So that's a lower date one, so that's kind of cool. And it's kind of got a nice condition. It has a nice color to it. So 14S. See that right there? Oops, sorry. See the messages, so it's kind of a better one out of those three. Set those aside like that. And then right here, flip the page. So you can see this is a 1921S. I think this is a key date coin. And I'll flip to the S. So 1921S. Right here, they only made half a million of these, but you can see the other 21s, they made it not even like a quarter million. So, and all these other numbers, you know, a lot bigger right here. And you're looking at, you know, a million, there's some that are 10 million, 47 million. So they made a lot of those. But you get into 1921, 21S, just over half a million were minted. So, in good four condition, worth 48 bucks. And I think that's pretty accurate, actually. So, I don't know if this would be good four condition, but, you know, you tell me. You can see the S mint mark. It's right down there. Pretty cool right there. I think I was saying there's something. There's some, got some other goodies in here. Alright, so get ready for the sticky. The stickiness to get on me. I might just have to rip this one. Uh, there we go. I, I forget, honestly, some of these other coins that I got. So it's kind of surprising. Oh, no way! Oh, that's right. I forgot. This package came already. All right. So, all right. This is, like, totally awesome. Wow. This is cool. So, this is a 2 ounce 999. This is a silver bullet. Like, how cool is this? This is the first one I ever own. I think I paid a good price for it. Either way, kind of hard to find sometimes. A lot of places, they're sold out. And I know I'm in the military, but what is this? 308 or something. I don't use some rounds, so maybe 308 or 762. But um, this is really cool. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh, that is cool. Oh wow, what else is in here that I forgot about? Oh yeah, that's right. I got these. The Franklin Mint. Guaranteed 1,000 grains. Solid sterling silver. How cool is this? So this is almost 2 ounces, and then what does that say? Uh, Bank Ohio. It's like Bank G or C? Bank Ohio Corporation? Columbus, Ohio. So I'm from Ohio. Uh, I'm not there right now because I'm stationed in North Carolina. But uh, the guy had a whole like display. And there was one of these for each state, I believe. And so I was like, give me the Ohio one. I was actually going to get the North Carolina one too and maybe a couple other states. But people were snagging them up real quick. But uh, yeah, this is everything. Yeah, this is everything that I got. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We got we got some silver right here. Well, that's sterling. But this is a really cool piece, man. We got some gold, even though it's just a little gram. We got some more silver. A really cool poured piece, like totally awesome. It even feels, you know, like a bullet. And then we got some half dollars. We got Liberty Nickel. We got some graded coins. And then we got this toned coin, love tones. Got two proof sets, you know. And got a kind of got a key date coin right there. And I guess you would call what did we say? 14s. 14s could be a key date coin because there's half and or they're not half. There's less than a million. Oops. Right. So yeah, it's one of the it's one of the least minted half dollars it looks like for the barber series. I guess when you get into 13s, so 1913. Uh, they didn't make a lot of those, but 1914s, they didn't make a lot. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, like some of the coins that I got.